Okay, we're going to do the standard weave. Uh, this is just a simple left to right weave. It ends up kind of looking like a candy cane. Uh, it's a good thing for stripes. In fact, um, mast class master hoods can be worn on the belt with a diagonal slash uh, representative of the color of their class master hood. So my belt actually has a red slash on it, which means that I am a master healer. So a lot of people don't know that, but it is in the rule book. So we're going to start out with the far one on the left, and we're going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, all the way through. Hard part here is making sure that you don't mix up the order. And you pull this one all the way through, and just kind of let it hang off to the side. Now we'll come to the next one, and we're going to go over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. I'm going to pull this one all the way through. Now, the one that we did the last time, I'm going to kind of snug that tight and hang it down. So it becomes, once again, part of the weave. I'll do this a couple more times so you guys can kind of see how the pattern emerges. And we're going through here. We pull it all the way through. And snug that one tight. And weave it back in. And just lay it down. You can see the maroon is starting to appear on the other side of the belt. Now, I like to hook it on my toe because it just makes it easier for tension purposes. And eventually you have to wrap it around your leg a couple times or maybe a chair leg or whatever you've got around the house. A friend's toe works sometimes. I'm going to pull it through. As you can see, it's starting to stripe at an angle and it will continue to do so and eventually look like a candy cane.